What's up guys? Welcome back to yet another video. Today, not sure if you guys can notice that, but look at that beautiful creek behind me. We are out here trout fishing. First time officially fishing this year. So, I had a few follows already, so I feel like it's going to be a great day. Let's go catch some fish. Let's do it. By the way guys, I'm sorry I haven't posted in a little bit. I am back now. Back on the grind here. And today we're doing a little bit of trout fishing. Very, very excited. We're going to go down here to the creek. We're going to go ahead and see. See what's up here. Hopefully we don't have to deal with too much ice. I know there's a little bit of ice on the creek right now, but the farther up we get over there, the least ice we'll have to deal with, which is pretty nice. Starting out with a uh, number four, eighth ounce inline spinner. I got my five foot six inch light power fast action rod um, six pound test monofilament we're gonna go ahead and give this a throw here go ahead and see uh, if we can get any luck whatsoever with these trout the creeks a little bit low right now so we'll just have to kind of wait and see if a trout's willing to come out of a rock here and bite this thing the slow and steady retrieve back with this panther martin that's basically what we're going with here. Adjust my GoPro so you guys can see. All right, no bites right here. We're gonna move over to the next spot. Has a little bit less ice on it. Go see if we can't catch something there. My truck also has a broken window out, window out on it. So I also have to keep out, uh, keep a lookout at my truck. Make sure that no mofo is gonna go over there and try to open up my door and steal my stuff. But this spot looks a lot more promising, I am not going to lie. I'm gonna go ahead and approach the spot very slowly here. Because this spot has potential for sure. No follows or anything as I can see. My glasses are polarized too, so I'm able to see into the water. Have yet to see any fish follow. But I'm sure it'll happen. Because the trout in here are stocked, so that does give me a little bit of an advantage. They are a little bit easier to catch, I guess, if you guys want to treat it like that but just slow rolling panther martin let's see if we can't hook up on a trout it's a good little spot right there and a good little hole we don't have too much ice on the creek right now but definitely have a little bit so it's kind of a problem it's not too much of a problem right now but it definitely probably will be a little bit later on because i know a lot of the spots down there are a little bit icy so we'll just have to see it's a good little spot I just cast into. There's got to be a few trout behind those rocks right there, I gotta say. There's got to be a few under there. Sometimes at this spot, what I've had really good success doing in the past is casting straight across and just bringing it right by. I've had really good luck doing that. I think we're going to do one more cast at this spot. Don't catch anything, we're going to move on, but we'll see. Yeah, no luck. That's fine. we still got a lot of creek to cover, so we will just keep moving on. Seeing what we can't catch here, or seeing some what we can catch here. I got my polarized shades on, so I'm looking into the water right now. I'm not really seeing too much trout activity, but that doesn't mean that we won't have any success. Now I'm gonna spend a little more time at this spot because I've had a lot of luck at this spot. And this spot takes a little bit of time, but after you master this spot, it pays off tremendously. So we'll see here. It is a little bit windy today, which isn't a problem. I think honestly that's gonna help me out, so we'll just have to see if we can't get a rainbow or a brown or a brook trout, cutthroat trout, whatever else is in here. Oh, there was one, he just followed it in. Right there, he just followed it in. Let's see if I can get him. He just followed it in right there, guys. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. You know you want it. Come on, come get it. Man, that trout literally just followed that bait straight in. Make a cast straight across. It wasn't a very big one, mind you, but he still followed it in. So we'll have to see here. Definitely followed it. But yeah, again, guys, just using this 8th ounce Panther Martin inline spinner. Gold. It's not very sunny today, so I'm not using a silver color. I'm just using this classic gold color right here. He's going really slow. I'm letting most. I'm letting the current do most of the work here. I just got bit. 
right there. I'm just letting the current do most of the work here. Oh, right there. Gosh, that would have been my first fish of the year. God dang it. Oh my goodness. Guys, this is absolutely insane right now. There are fish biting in this icy water. I just got to get one to hit it so I can peg them. Oh, one just followed it again. Oh my goodness. Man, they're following this thing. It's just that they're not really committing to it. Which isn't a problem. It just means sometimes you got to switch up your presentation, cadence, whatever. Try to get them to commit, so... We'll see. Oh, right there. Oh, that was a good one. That was a brown. Oh my goodness, dude. That was a nice fish right there. They're not... They're not biting it. I mean, they're biting it. They're just nipping at it. They're not really eating this thing. We'll just keep casting. Seeing if we can't peg one of these fish here. I have a few hours to fish, so I'm not really worried about it. Ah, my bait's messed up. I'm not really worried about it. I have a few hours to fish, so... Just gotta kill some time. There's one just flashed on it. I know there's some fish here. They literally are biting my bait. Oh, there's one. Come on, bite it, bite it, bite it, bite it. I see you. Come on, I see you following it. Oh, come on, baby. Oh, he's right there, too. Gosh dang it. Cast all the way out there. Come on now. I know they want it. I mean, I'm right in the strike zone. There's also a few other spots today, too, that we're going to be hitting, so I'm not really worried about if I don't catch fish at this hole, but I really want to. All right, we can move on now. Didn't get any bites. Well, I did get some bites. I didn't get any fish, unfortunately. So we'll just move on to the next spot, which is just right up here. There should be a few fish hanging out. So, all right, we're going to try this spot. And then there's another spot up here that we're going to go ahead and hit. And hopefully we can catch something at both. And this is sketchy, so I'm not to get down on my hands and knees here. If you guys don't remember, I slipped and fell at this spot pretty hard. I'll play that clip right now. Hi. I know for a fact we can catch some fish today, but we're going to need to go to a... Ah, oh, damn it. We're going to need to go to a... Ah, oh, come on now. Are you really telling me there's no fish in here that are going to eat this? Are you kidding me? These are literally stock trout. How the hell are they not eating this? I'm actually starting to get annoyed here, guys. I should have at least caught in two or three, maybe four fish by now. I've had absolutely nothing. I've been fishing for probably half an hour now. Had absolutely no luck. I'm starting to get a little frustrated. But this next spot we're going to fish absolutely has fish in it. There is 100% fish at this spot ready to be caught right now. This is actually where I caught those trout back to back at that uh, brown versus rainbow catch and cook. You guys want to watch that video? I'll leave a link down in the description below so you guys go check it out. We're definitely about to catch a trout right here, right now. There's one. It's falling. One. Eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. Oh, I had him right there. You guys see that? Oh my goodness. Told you. There's always fish in this spot. Always. They're always in here. Every time. That was a little brown trout, but there's a ton of trout in this spot. Let's walk up over here. Alright. This is a really good looking spot. I know there's trout in here. See if we can catch them. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys want to see more videos like this where I go out and fish local creeks or whatever, do not forget to subscribe. I put out new videos every single week. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, stay on the barb. I will catch you guys again on the next video. Thanks for watching.